Hey Taurus, what is up? What is up? And welcome. <laughs> love. We could be lovers. We can't do that. Oh my God. And the Empress, Libra, Taurus, Gemini energy. Wow. Okay. Well, this reading is going to be fun f u n um you know the drill sun moon rising and venus but don't put yourself just in your sun sign check out your other placements my name is svetlana we shenan we have fun but most importantly we elevate we heal we expand our consciousness and if you're new returning i love you i appreciate you i am beyond grateful you should see my lives i went live yesterday for the first time and <laughs> It just, it's literally this for like 20 minutes. I'm just beyond grateful what we have co-created together, this gorgeous community. So let's keep it moving. Let's keep it pushing. Oh, yes. Speaking of grateful, I'm uh, doing a free reading get uh, getaway. <laughs> hey, yo. Giveaway. Uh, comment down one, 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 as I said that. Two of Swords, um, getting out of your head, decision time. Comment down below, love, or give us a heart and subscribe to win. The winner will be announced on the 19th. You keep getting uh, Two of Pentacles. Choices, choices, choices. And yeah, best of luck. Let's go. Let's see what the energy for Taurus is, please. Universe. Wow. Okay, I'll take them. Why not? Why not, universe? Thank you. This is a lot. Here we go. We got the tower, though popping up you could have a beautiful transformation right now either it happened it's happening or it's about to happen you're about to get clarity baby this is a uh, king of swords this is wisdom that in this <laughs> and it's a combo with wisdom and confidence so this tower whatever it is whatever is coming in or is happening you need to see it as a building block you need to see it as wisdom and you needed to see it as a confidence boost taurus because this is going to make your ride so much smoother because you got you got a lot this is beautiful so once again remember the tower happens for us not to us we never play victim here so if there's something you want to say if there's something you want to do uh this is saying open up your throat chakra and speak your truth you're done holding back this is beautiful and this is taking you to calmer waters not only that taurus you got a lot here this is so beautiful you're walking away from something that no longer serves you and you're moving into the nine of cups wish fulfillment baby independence swear svetlana in love this is beautiful but once again, once again, this is beautiful. I broke it down, right? But a lot of us are still here looking at the dust bunnies. A lot of us are still here looking at the damage and going, oh no, poor me. What could I have done? The could have, should have, would have game, right? When the universe is saying, hey, these are messages. Your crown chakra right now is so activated. You're receiving beautiful um lessons beautiful uh level up you're literally if this was a video game you're leveling up look at this you're going into you're finding your confidence you're using your knowledge you're using this to honestly make very good decisions in your favor because there's something you need to walk away from this could be a living situation this could be a partnership this could be a job that you're no longer happy in right whatever this is you want movement you want movement and it's when you see this tower as a blockage that's been removed by the universe because it loves you it's not until then that we can come into this satisfy this beautiful wish for film and this like a little bit of gluttony this is a bit a bit of gl gluttony but this is filling your own cups and recognizing that you are the conscious creator you choose how you feel and you're choosing to be um satisfied this is gorgeous wow um can i get actually can i clarify what's the tower for you taurus what's this oh taurus king of cups flew out with the wheel of fortune dare i say you're opening up your heart space you got three kings you got three kings taurus one more and we're gonna be an emperor baby um what are we missing oh king of pentacles <laughs> king 
of Pentacles. We're missing money and stability, Svetlana, but we're working on it. Ayo. Uh, three of... Three, three of... Ooh, was I going to say three of cups? Three kings here. But look at this. These, these come from the tower falling, right? Remember, th these fell after the tower. And when I clarify the tower, this fell. Like, this flew. This is opening up your heart. This is... Remember I said, if you want to speak something... Remember, your throat chakra is also wisdom. This is where this comes in. But if you want to speak something and open up your heart, it's going to create a new paradigm. It's going to open up a new cycle for you. So if this tower is you keeping silent about something, you're keeping yourself here, right? But look at this. The Wheel of Fortune is here. You have abundance and happy new beginnings coming in. This is beautiful. Judgment, you have a rebirth. This is a brand new you coming out here. So make sure you're speaking your truth from your heart space and uh, evaluate what you need to walk away from, what no longer serves you. Because you're leveling up here. Uh, can I get, what's the energy on the person, on the person? <laughs> What's the energy uh, for the person on Taurus's mind, please? The person Taurus is thinking about or connected to. Can we get four of cups? Not sure. Not sure. A little disappointed. Not. Let's just say not satisfied, right? I've never been satisfied. <laughs> uh, Hamilton. Um, yeah, contemplating. Ace of cups, though. Ace of cups love i mean four of cups right contemplating meditating what else king of oh okay so both of you are uh beautiful both of you are in the king of wands confidence newfound confidence what else could be dealing with a uh, leo aries or a sagittarius here you're getting a message you're getting a little message here. A page of Wands. Communication. Passionate communication. Someone wants to move to calmer waters, and you also have that. Dare I say this is a reading with a common goal? <laughs> we have fun here. What else can we see here? They could be waiting for a sign as well to reach out. Because look at this. They're, it's like they're meditating, and they're talking to the universe. It's like, what, what should I do, right? Should I should I stay or should I go go kind of because now this is the thing when you come into the king of wands energy You really start assessing where you put your uh, energy right what you want to manifest is you start asking yourself questions like Marcus Aurelius would ask is this essential like is this uh, like if you're like uh, done tomorrow if this is your last day like this is how you approach everything you do. Is this top priority? Is this benefiting the community? Is this essential, right? And this is beautiful. So these are the questions you got to start asking yourself when you hit that uh, King of Wands um, energy. When you get it so aligned with your uh, spirit. It's beautiful. Because this is exactly what you're asking and you're going, yeah, I'm walking. You see what I'm saying? What well, flew out? <sighs> Five of swords. Little ego. A little ego at play. Two of wands. Yeah, decision. Should I stay or should I? Wow. Queen of, Queen of uh, wands. We have a counterpart here. This is beautiful. This is gorgeous. Both of you are glowing. You see? You see, I, I know I just stroked the Virgo's ego. <laughs> but you know, what? you got to give credit when credit is due. And this is beautiful. There's nothing more beautiful and joyful than seeing people connect with uh, their soul, their spirit. You know, connect with their light. Shine their light. But this is the conflict. Uh, five of swords and two of uh, wands. Making a choice. So indecisive. This person is a little indecisive here. Although they see this as a counterpart. What else can you tell me please universe? Yeah. In their head. Oof. There's something they're not seeing. 
there's something could be dealing with a Pisces. Hmm. They could be working on their ego as well, because this is uh, limiting limiting self beliefs. This is limiting thoughts. But this is funny. No, I mean, uh, ha ha. You have eight of cups, right? And they have eight of swords. So both kind of are uh, in stagnation, but in different kind of forms, right? Yours is more emotional. Theirs is more mental. <laughs> All right, so universe, is there going to be any forward movement towards Taurus from this person in the near future? Everyone is free will, general reading. Any forward movement, please? Any forward movement? Any forward? Oh, I can't look what came up upright. Ace of Cups. Cup of love, cup of love. But then there's another card that fell down like this, so... Let's see it together. Oh! Oh, wow! Oh, yeah. They're feeling left out in the cold right now. But look, they're looking for spiritual strength to reach out. This is gorgeous. It's just getting out of your own way, right? Getting out of your own mental way. Finding the spiritual strength. Recognizing you're not your thoughts. You're not your uh, emotions. You're not your body. And going with what it is you truly desire, right? Ace of Cups. Wow. Yeah, brand new beginnings coming in, baby, though. This is gorgeous. So if this resonated, leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. Um, I love you. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Namaste.